Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do my all day clean with me motivational video for especially those of us who suffer from depression and anxiety. So if you need to get that motivation, you're where you need to be. Good morning everyone. This is the cutest cup. Carmelo got it for me for Christmas. I would love to hear how you guys get motivated in the morning. For me, I take this time while it's quiet to decompress, drink my coffee, watch my shows, but I also like to write out my list for the day so that I can stay organized and on top of the things that I truly know I need to do today or I will get sidetracked. Today was one of my days for therapy. I go to therapy once a week. I started therapy during my grieving process after losing my father and have since continued to help me balance my life, my life skills, um, just all over day in and day out. My therapist has helped me, you know, grow as a mother, grow as a wife, grow as a friend, a daughter. Um, my grieving process has taken in my eyes, a while, but I know that there is no limits, no time limits on grief. And I always knew that this passing would be hard for me. So therapy was really important for me in my coping process. Holy shit, I just stumbled. Still I'm feeling myself. Yeah. Oh. I I with the stars on free. Party all day, every week. The first thing I wanted to do was my dishes. I want to just get that done and out the way. I hate seeing dishes pile up in the sink. I try to always kind of keep it empty. I do have a dishwasher, but lucky for me, it's still not um, working. <laughs> so I am still hand washing my dishes until that gets fixed. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you haven't already, go ahead and just jump up and get right to the first thing that is really getting under your skin in your house today, whether it's your dishes, your laundry, or making your bed. Just getting that first task in will really start to motivate you. As you can tell, I do kind of bounce back and forth. Um, that's just part of having ADHD. Sometimes I get too overwhelmed in one area. Uh, today, the kitchen just kind of just made me feel overwhelmed. So I went to my bedroom and finished what I needed to do in there. And then it came back out to the kitchen. Sometimes I just kind of have to follow my brain instead of working against it. Or I will just shut down and not do anything for the rest of the day. But if I mean to show
And I just wanted to remind you guys, if you're feeling down and out or you feel just truly not motivated to do anything but the bare minimum, I know how that feels and you're not alone. And I just really encourage you guys to take a little bit of time um, each day to reflect on what you want out of your life and things that really would give you the structure or the motivation you need to to do better to do more so if you guys are looking for that type of motivation just sit back and think what do you want out of life left, i recall it still in my bed of truck i didn't look back didn't give up i got my first real kiss behind the coffee shop no matter how busy it gets for me during the day, I try to at least read 10 pages in my self-help book, whichever one I'm reading at the time. Right now, I'm reading a book called Take Back Your Time. I will link it in the description box. And I know this seems a little crazy, but it's just one of the ways I keep control on how I keep a balance for myself in my life and in my household. Just keep flooding by the memories that I'm made of Damn, my heart still beats for the place I always tell my kids work smarter not harder so I am doing my Target pickup order for my groceries this week. I don't do like a full grocery order at Target but I will get a few things to hold us over until I feel like I can go to ShopRite or whatever grocery store and actually pay attention. In my intimate wisdom, my dad used to say that, I decided to clean out my car because it obviously is disgusting. I have no words for this condition of this car right now. I'm just going to get right to it and clean as best as I can. It decided to flurry while we were out here and it was a little too cold for me. So I did what I could. What are you doing? Looking at them. Alright, well what do you think? What's your final review? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, so it's a decent so drop. I give it, like, let's see, 50 out of 50. 50 out of 50? Nice, look at this. 50 out of 50. I didn't do the floors, <laughs> but at least now the kids can walk, <laughs> put their feet down, and walk through the back. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I did um, for our holiday decorations. I did not do a holiday um, decorate with me or Christmas decor video. I was not in the spirit this year. I really did struggle through the holidays as I'm sure a lot of you had as well. And I did my best. I did my best for my kids. I did my best, you know, in honor of my dad and for the rest of my family. But I just wasn't into it. However, when everything said and done, I was happy with how everything turned out. Ways to leave Been thinking about them all Cause life's too hard Life's too mean But I can't just jump and fall No matter how much pain I'm in I won't back down Gotta think Can't give in one of the things that I learned in therapy was that when my house seemed out of control or chaotic, I felt out of control and chaotic. So I'm getting you guys ready to just take control of your life again, take control of your schedule, take control of your home and, you know, get your kids up and moving, get them to help you. Carmelo helped me out. Um, he usually always does. He's really good with that. But, you know, he's old enough where he can make his own bed to the best of his ability <laughs> and he can you know, put away his clothes and throw out the trash. And that I try to keep his responsibility, you know, so that he understands just because I'm a stay at home mom does not mean I'm your maid or your chef or anything like that. I'm your mom and I'm going to teach you life skills. I don't need you. You. I don't need you. You. Yeah.
Yeah, I need a new apartment, my own safe haven, and not the dump you live in. I don't need you, cause I got high ambition. At this point in the day, I realized I probably did entirely too much in one day and I started to feel that so I started to slow down and again I know a lot of people wouldn't just push themselves to do stuff but if I don't do it within that moment again it's a trickle effect if I don't do it in that moment then I won't do it at all then chaos will build on top of the chaos and then I just I drown and my anxiety and it's just not worth the drowning so I, I'm trying my hardest to be ahead of my attacks to be ahead of my mental health or at least prepared for it to the best of my ability my own decisions my lifelong mission releasing inhibitions i don't need you to come crawling back to me all right so i finished everything that i need to do in the house minus the laundry and cook dinner so i'm on my way to pick up my target order and then come back cook and then hopefully do laundry tonight and the reason why i'm doing that and the reason why i did this video today is to show you guys how to get things done while still being able to find time for yourself during the week. So example, I'm done with everything today. Tomorrow morning, I will wake up and I will throw a load of laundry in. But other than that, I don't have to do anything as for cleaning the house, just light maintenance and keeping up with it. So it gives me enough time to read a book or do a facial. Granted, Zay's at school, so that's why as well. But my point is, is that <laughs> I know it's easier said than done, but I assure you guys, if you follow my schedule, I try my hardest to have as much of me time as possible so that I can find a balance. And I have prided myself on that. And it's been a while since I have been on my A game. I feel really good this week. So I felt like this was going to be a good time to kind of display how my brain actually works. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go Target, pick up Zay Zay, and finish the rest of the evening. So if you haven't already, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I am so thankful that you guys are here and that you've stayed with me for this long. So let's finish it out. I'm way up on the coke and one of the things that I do to just to make my life like a little easier is aside from doing my weekly menu before I go grocery shopping, I like to have themed days. So my Mondays are my pastas, my Tuesdays are my tacos, Wednesdays are my um, chicken, Thursdays are my pork chops, stuff like that. And I'll just switch it up with like different types of versions of the meats and like different sides. But today I'm making my spaghetti with Italian sausage and I love spaghetti because obviously super quick and easy to make so I'm gonna go ahead and do that being honest I think doing the laundry would be just doing too much it was a really long day and I probably overdid it I look exhausted that's great what did I know okay well anyway so I'm gonna wrap this up today because I think that I gave you guys a thorough run through on how I keep my day together um it's been a while since I had to show this or even do it um consistently like I did today so I was happy that that worked out well um, again, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.